Well then, here you are, she says, and she gives, she gives me a handmade cookie. It's wonderful to receive something like this from a friend. However, um, I gave it by myself. Don't be shy. Like a bird feeding a brood, her eyes tell me to open my mouth. But everyone's looking. Since the announcement of a relationship, she hasn't hidden her feelings for me. In my opinion, she's asking too much physical interaction. I have no choice but to respond. The reaction of everyone around us. As Yagaki said. No one looks at us with curiosity despite the oblivious the obviously a romantic interaction. Oh, but people seem to be looking on with envy as I distractedly take a bite of the cookie. Um what? Taking hold of my hand in one of hers. The palm is warm and soft and feminine. Is it good? It's good. I'll have more. Ah, good. Say, ah. I do, she asks, and I open my mouth and wait for a somewhat bitter cookie. In this way, our intimate relationship continues. Are you okay for time? You don't let off some steam, you're bored over. So I should drag you along in this duo. It's fine, it's not like I'm practicing your day. Well, then. that's good. It gives me a start when she calls me Suo. I mean, the fact that her touching has become a bit excessive. She is just weaker. I forget the fact that I'm in a relationship with her. But her calling me Suo has clearly expresses a new dynamic in a relationship. I've never been big on talk, taking balls and walks in the forest, but when the truth is like this, it's fun, isn't it? I smile with her as she bounces along. Taking a stroll with a friend is one of my dreams. Of course I'm happy about it. However, while we are friends... Riku is not looking at the forest, but at me. Follows her brow and looks at me with a stern face. Is there something on me? No. Did you get enough sleep? I cut my head, not understanding the question. Riku stops and put a thing, puts a thing into my lips. Your lips are chapped, and that's a terrible thing for a girl. She says that and takes out a lip balm from her pocket. This is... A scene from a novel I've read before. An indirect kiss. I get nervous if she removes the cap and breathes on the lip balm. What? what are you doing? You want the lip balm? That's quite easier. Wait just a second. She puts a warmed up lip balm on her index finger and puts it to my lips then. Hmm. <laughs> Don't move. Keep still. I'm like painting on a canvas she neatly spreads a lip balm across my lips. Her finger striking my lips awakens feelings of bashfulness and a kind of pleasure. That should do it. Thank you, Rika-san. Hey, it's Rika now. Thank you, Rika, I say, reflecting on the sensation of her finger on my lips. I've said it before, but, but while touching is excessive, a relationship is even better than it was before. I am happy about this. Yeah, keep convincing yourself that. However, if we use medicine as an allergy to our relationship, strong medicines contain poison. If we take too much, you will be poisoned. During self-study time... <sighs> hey, I'm bored. Be quiet in the library. You're studying way too seriously. We usually chat a little, don't we? She leans across the table, looking at me approachably. I have to write these book reports, so we better do them right. I say that, and... Right. Hey, since there's only a book over there, why don't you take one in life and read it? Says Riku, sat next to me. 
Where the four person desk with one of one star us on one side and the sack is on the other. Ichigo grudgingly takes a book from the top of the pile she bought and thumbs through it. She quickly gets bored though and looks around the library. Mm. Hey. Mm. Why aren't you always studying with us? You should be here. Mayuri san likes to read books by herself so she can concentrate. So don't disturb her. That's strange. It's more fun if we all study together. Yes. The relationship is medicine. It's medicine is so strong. It's become poison. That uh, poison is in an attitude towards Miyori. If two people and three people amity group starts a relationship, the real one naturally becomes a third wheel. Miyori only exchanges the bare minimum words necessary for daily life with us now. Enrique seems to think this is a good thing. Our loose but intersecting paths are drifting apart. Most of all, she's probably avoiding me because she thinks I'm a traitor. I let out a small sigh. It's one that Rika does not notice. Think of a collection of Natsumi Soisaki's works. The words which I usually feel so keenly in my mind and heart barely even register. I look up to see Ringo focus and she goes happily flipping through her pages as she was reading a comic book. She goes, Santa doesn't usually like books, I wonder what she's reading. The binding appears to be that of a Technic book. Even more confused, I lean forward without thinking. Huh? Huh? What's the matter, Sura chan? Uh, ah, well, that's. Are you tired of reading? Can we chat? So she's mistaken as my amity partner and Ringo look at me strangely. She goes about what you're reading. I say, oh, this? She goes, says, and she turns the book she's holding towards me. This is a sucker war book. Yeah. I thought she'd start by learning the basics. I was fortunate strange at getting Ichigo san, but I didn't know you were into soccer. I'm saying this if you think people like soccer strange. Women's soccer is super popular right now. She's right. I've seen it generating quite a buzz on the news recently. Next to her, Ringo slams the book shut. You're just repeating what you heard. I think that Shiro Senpai has become interested in soccer. She heard her, her say the same thing at a club meeting and... That's how she got interested, she says. I haven't really done any sports sports before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Huh. I was fortunate he was a sporty type. Uh, the thing is, I get lost in the play path. So I'm not that great at them. Hey, sir, chan. What sport have you done? Uh, a little swimming. I don't seem like a jogging type. Speaking of sports, I recall a swim meet my grandfather took me to. And where I immediately quit. That look tells me you did some kind of sports, right? Did you? It's the first time I've heard of it. I don't think you kept it up long enough to say that. I guess like, I didn't like changing in front of others for or showing skin. Oh! This is the kind of story you were hoping for. Mr. Sarkis leaned forward and Rika's blushing for some reason. It's not that interesting, it, it, it was swimming. Every town or city has a swim club, right? Ah, swimming. Our town had a club too, a lot of people from school went. I remember one time I avoided swimming class at school for so long I was nearly forced to join it. I couldn't really handle it either. My grandfather told me to try it once and then decide. I take my clothes off in front of strangers and I was so embarrassed everyone was seeing me in the swimsuit. Anyway, I wasn't very good at my, but my classmates and even the adults were always looking at me. What was all of that about then? Little Sue in a swimsuit. Rika? Rika san? She mentioned something. I put my hand on her shoulder, but Ringo takes it instead. Um. Let her be. I might not really understand it, but as Ringo's request, I decide to let Rika be as he stares downwards. 
Anyway, Yatsuhiro yeah, Senpai recommended Saku and it seems pretty interesting. Why don't we all get together and try it sometime? This school is the first one of composing ladies. I don't think it'd be very easy to find people. You think so? I'd have to see that, I think you'd like. What? Pay down as Ichigo puts a book on the desk and puts a trivia section on the page. A Charlie horse? Why are animals in soccer? Just a name. It's like when you kicked him a fire giant contact for us. Oh, is that code? It's not like I'm in a restaurant, I can't say there's a book, so I say, Table 5 is ordered. Or something like that. Bugs. I should have dread one so many of a word. But you tell it's not quite the same, and it to go claps her hands. Speaking of which, Yuri likes it to come talk. She gets excited about sports. Really? Yeah. I think she said she did come to some kind of sport or another. Hey, let's call her over. Doesn't matter to agree with her. No. Why not? We can ask her for details. It isn't better if we just call her over. I told you, she doesn't want to be in class when she's reading. If he's going to want to take a break, it should be fine to ask, right? Yeah, we can't interrupt us today. As it should go to proposal. We're amity partners, it's not strange we would deepen our relationship. I think that, but... Seeing a vanishing a scowl, I'm unable to say anything. We can't disturb her while she's studying. Well, I'm just a little chat. Well, it would be fine if we had a little chat, but you know which. We should stop chatting and get back to studying as well. We're already far surpassed the little chat a while back, haven't we? Ichigo sticks her tongue out like she was a little snake. Yes, we should get back to reading. Ah. Alright, Suo. She squeezed my hand on the desk. Hand is strong and warm, and more than anything, seems to convey her will. Mayori san. Living and opening books herself from the back of the library, and an inexplicable feeling wells up in me. Is it because she hates me? Is it because I've lost my hard won amity partner? My friend. I feel a warmth of Rika's hand as though my heart is being squeezed deep in my chest. We keep passing each other by. No. Me always avoiding me on purpose. Barely been able to exchange a word with her. During break. At lunch too. She even turned me down for ballet practice after class, saying she'd rather do it alone. Our only interaction is during the practice with him. From what we practice, we always voices now on a power of members of a choir. Perhaps she always hated natural talent, always had natural talent, because the singing is compared to when she first started being instructed by Kamikado is beyond recognition. I. Let's stop there. Kamikado, who's been conducting, Wears a conductor stick at me, and I take my hands off a keyboard. What's wrong? It's rude of me to ask, but today, no. Recently, you're making a lot of mistakes. I'm sorry. I'm not criticizing you. If you aren't well, you can rest, you know. We have time. Her long, fluttering lashes and lady like way of speaking. I've been annoyed at my own spinelessness. What's the matter? Seems so sad he's not feeling that well. Oh no. Rika comes rushing over and gently some my bangs. Ah. She puts her forehead against my own to check the temperature. My cheek turns red as the lips draw so close we're almost kissing. You might have a slight fever. Well, that's, that's terrible. 
No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. When I move my forehead away in embarrassment, Mayuri start staring off into space. Enters my peripheral vision and I hurriedly grab Kamikado's, Kamikado's hand. What? what is it? What? What See, I don't have fever, do I? Right. I put Kamikado's hand to my forehead and she blinks and nods. She doesn't seem to have a fever. Really? Yeah, but... She takes her hand away from my forehead and pets my head. My feelings of irritation slow dissipate. You asked to recompany me all of a sudden. You're worried about not doing well, aren't you? I look down, unable to tell her that her kind of words are off a mark. She continues gently stroking my head. After practice, let's have a chat, Suo-san. Yes, let's. But let's have a chat next episode, shall we? So until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Oh, no.